Welcome to our world-class OSB manufacturing facility located in Oakdale, Louisiana. Everything we make here starts with the log. Log trucks entering the mill are unloaded by two gantry cone cranes. These cranes have a capacity of 30 tons and one crane can unload one truckload of wood in one bite. Wood is stacked in specific zones and aged for approximately two weeks. Logs are then fed into one of three infeed decks. They then enter the debarking drum. Bark does not contain any structural properties that we need for the panels. Bark is removed from each log tumbling in a debarking drum. The logs hit one another and bark is removed. Once the bark is removed, the logs then enter the stranders. A strander is a large rotating ring with 44 knives. The logs are peeled into 2 inch by 6 inch by 30 thousandths of an inch thick strands. These strands are perfect for the quality and integrity of an OSB panel. These strands then enter green bins where they are stored until they are ready for the dryers. The dryers are large rotating cylindrical drums that are heated by two furnaces. The furnaces burn at 1600 degrees. The fuel that we use in the furnaces are sawdust and bark and other process material that cannot be used. The inlet of the dryers are approximately 1500 degrees and the outlet is approximately 350 degrees. The strands are dried to approximately 6% moisture. The strands are conveyed through the dryers by induced draft fans. When the strands leave the dryers, they are conveyed to the screens building. The strands must be separated by size. This will be important later in the process. Core material is what we call the smaller strands. Face material is the larger strands. Once the strands are separated by size, the core and face material are conveyed up to the dry bins where they are stored until they are ready for resin. Once the strands arrive at the blenders, the blenders apply a small amount of resin and wax to the strands. This resin is the adhesive that binds each strand to one another when it is pressed and the wax is used to repel water. Now that resin is applied to the strands, it is conveyed to the forming line where the strands are oriented onto a forming line belt. This forming line belt is where the mat is formed before it gets pressed. Large material, the face material, goes on top and bottom and the smaller material or core material goes into the middle. Mats are cut by a saw into either 24 foot, 25 foot, or 26 foot lengths. Once the mat is cut into length, it is conveyed by a call screen. This call screen moves the mat into the loader cage before it is pressed. When the press is ready, it opens and these mats are conveyed into the press. The press is heated by thermal oil at approximately 415 degrees. The press is then closed by hydraulic force and the heat cures the resin that was applied earlier in the process. Once the panel is pressed to its desired thickness, the press then opens and is unloaded into a cage. What enters the press is called a mat. Once the mats are pressed, they are then called master panels. The master panels continue down the line to the saw line. The saw line cuts each master panel into specific widths and lengths, and then they are stacked. Once a certain number of panels are stacked, they are then called a unit. Units then are conveyed to the paint booth where they are painted and sealed. Once they are painted, our logo is applied, the unit is bagged, and then strapped.
Forklifts are used to transport the units to either a truck or a rail car. Our product is then sold to our customers around the world. Hopefully now you have a good understanding of how logs are turned into OSB. Thanks for watching.